Welcome back. And we want to talk about how reflecting and honoring the African-American story is an essential part to our growth and understanding, especially on this MLK Junior Day. And that's the goal for the National Museum of African-American History and Culture in our nation's capital. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent Rachel Knapp has more. The National Museum of African-American History and Culture is a standout building. And on the inside, there's a lot to see. The associate director of the museum says the museum is steeped in the American experience through an African-American lens. And what you get is really a chronological history of the African-American presence in the Americas, the arrival of the first enslaved people to these shores and looking at that journey over time up until um, up until this point, we get to President Obama's uh, inauguration in 2008. With the use of about 40,000 artifacts, visual pieces, storytelling, and more, the museum says all exhibitions support one another to share the African-American story, like the slave trade, segregation, including aspects like professions, the role of the church, sports. The museum also highlights the civil rights movement. The era of segregation really gives you the backstory of what has happened, um, how people came together, uh, fighting against lynching, you know, um, promoting your own newspapers, uh, building entrepreneurial societies, businesses and the like that kind of traces that lineage to the modern civil rights movement that we know when MLK and other people galvanized and created this critical moment in history. They want visitors to understand that history is made and created by all people. Storytelling is key. It's key to remembering who we are and it's key to shaping who we are going to be in the future and that this museum will always be a, a place for reflection. In Washington, D.C., Rachel Knapp reporting.